which I have changed all the pronouns for, hopefully, and if I haven't, I apologize in advance, the fault is mine. Uh, there will be no executive session this evening. Uh, if you haven't seen the news item on our website, City Administrator Emily Moon will be pursuing a long-term dream of traveling the world with her family. She will be leaving her employment with our city in August. If you'd like more information, visit the homepage of our website and look for the link under Community News. We're both excited for her future adventure and thankful for all she's done for our community since coming to the city of Issaquah in 2014. Mayor Polly will be leading the charge to find her replacement and has already begun the process. We expect to select a national recruiter later this week to assist us. Uh, be rest assured prior to hiring, council members, community members, and staff will all be involved in the lengthy process both firsthand and with regular updates along the way. Our goal is to have someone in place by August. The Urban Village Development Commission is retiring. This past Tuesday, March 26th, the Urban Village Development Commission held their final meeting. The board began in 1996, and since then, 49 community members have volunteered their time to review and recommend new development agreements, as well as land use permits in the Highlands and Talus urban villages through these last 23 years. Both development agreements we terminated in 2018, and now the Development Commission will take over decision-making on project planning for Highlands and Talus, as they do for the rest of the city. We want to publicly thank all the UVDC commissioners and also staff, staff liaisons, Keith Niven and Lucy Sloman for their work and commitment to excellence over the years. City website redesign to serve our customers more eff effectively, efficiently, and conveniently, the city has just launched the website redesign project. Please provide your input on how we can make it better for you by participating in our online survey. You can find a link in this, to the survey in the community news section of uh, on the homepage of our website at issaquawa.gov. Southeast 42nd Street art installed. Last week, new artwork was installed along Southeast 62nd Street. Artisan Susan Zacola was inspired by the surrounding landscape and circulatory systems of paths and roadways at the city's largest capital project in its history. The visual references Susan used in designing the artwork include moving wheels and the flowing water of rivers. The new installations are located on both sides of the new bridge along Southeast 62nd Street. In addition to the very talented artist, we would like to thank the Arts Commission and Amy Dukes, our Arts Coordinator, for their work and commitment to see this project through. 2019 Hall of Fame Awards seeking nominations. This week we are opening up nominations for the 2019 Hall of Fame Award, a top honor for making a lasting contribution to our community. The award will be presented to the recipient on May 30th at the 40th Annual Issaquah Community Awards, sponsored by the Greater Issaquah Chamber of Commerce. We will hold our own celebration and induct the recipient into our Hall of Fame at the June 3rd regular council meeting. Nominations close on May 1st and the nomination form can be found on our website. Cultural events at Lake Sammamish State Park. Last week, the mayor, along with 1,500 others, attended the successful Holly event, the Festival of Colors celebrating the beginning of spring at Lake Sammamish State Park. There are several other cultural events happening this summer at Lake Sammamish State Park, including on July 7th, a new festival to celebrate African-American soul and gospel music. On August 10th, a Cambodian cultural festival, including Cambodian music, dance, and traditional dress. And on August 17th, Indian Independence Day celebration, including an Indian dance drama in full costume, food trucks, and more. Stay tuned for more information on these great events. And then Coffee with the Mayor. There will be another Coffee with the Mayor event on Wednesday from 1 to 3.30 p.m. April 1st. Uh, uh, April 1st? I think that's a typo. I think it would be April 3rd. Uh, the Pickering Room at City Hall Northwest. Mayor Polly looks forward to engaging with the community members for open dialogue. <clears throat> We're going to proceed on to the consent calendar. The consent calendar is dis was distributed to council in advance.